Stage two of the Tour de Yorkshire started in Selby, ahead a very different route to the previous day. 174 kilometres of racing, but with the climbs encountered early and a 20 kilometre finishing loop through historic York, the roadside fans were to be treated to fast racing. The breakaway formed early, featuring many teams. Three British riders, tenants of Team Wiggins, Bramier of MTN Quebec, and McNally of Madison Genesis were motivated to race hard and stay away. Leader of the race, Norway's Lars Petter Nordic of Team Sky, was looked after by his teammates and he was rarely far from the front. As the race entered the finishing loops, the pace was high and as the lead closed to around one minute, 31-year-old Bert de Backer of Giant Alpacin attacked, taking McNally of Madison Genesis with him. The duo worked well, earning McNally the grey Dimension Data digital jersey at the end of the day, as the fans voted him the most aggressive rider. But nearing the finish, de Backer proved too strong for the Brits, and he attacked alone, desperately seeking the time gap. He powered along, tired but focused. He was joined at the front, but as the race entered the final kilometre, they were captured. The scene was set for a bunch sprint. The sprinters roared to the front. Pellucci and Hofland went side by side for the win. But the man in yellow from Lotto Jumbo had time to sit up and enjoy his first win of the season. Moreno Hofland was the victor. Lars Petter Nordok held on to the lead. Uh, I wanted to, to save my legs as much as possible, but it's never easy to stay uh, st stay in the front uh, when it's uh, laps like this and it's uh, a lot of stress. So it was fast and, uh, and hard, so I'm happy I didn't lose time. The race concludes tomorrow and the battle is not over yet.